Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess for today's video where we are going to talk about how to edit or update the SEO keywords for your Wix website and why and when you should do this or actually why you should do this as sparingly as possible. So if you have not yet already, this video is part of a larger special SEO series that we are doing here on the channel dedicated to helping you improve the SEO for your Wix website so you can drive more traffic and generate more leads and sales. So if you haven't yet already, be sure to go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when more content drops on the channel. Um, and just a heads up, if you are just finding this series through this video, we do encourage you to start at the beginning of the series where we kind of gave a couple longer, more overview videos into the SEO, the strategies, and really getting the blueprint for a very clear and solid SEO plan for your site. So again, we do recommend recommend starting there on the channel and then the following videos that you're seeing here on this channel are more of like the bite-sized trainings and answering some of the questions that you had throughout the series and so that's what this one is. Okay, so the SEO, if you are going and updating the SEO on your Wix website, and by the way, by the end of this series, you should have a very good understanding of how to implement a very solid SEO strategy for your site. Okay, so one of the things that we're teaching you to do is yes, to use the Wix SEO wizard, but beyond that, to develop a strong keyword strategy and really um, kind of go through the whole thing. So when you are in your site dashboard, if you go underneath of the marketing and the SEO tab and you click on the get found on Google tab, um, if you're just getting started and this is the very first time that you go through all of this, or if you don't know how to find it or you get lost or for some reason the dashboard changes, which it sometimes does, keep in mind you can always go ahead and click on or go to the search bar up here and type in SEO keywords and that's always going to bring up what you're looking for. It's kind of a it's simple, but sometimes people are like, I never thought of that. So, okay, so however you wanna get there, go ahead and bring up the SEO tools or the SEO checklist on your dashboard. Now, if this is the first time that you're going through the Wix SEO whiz and all of this, what it's gonna do, well, first of all, number one, make sure that you have your website connected to a domain. We talked about this in other videos, very important. So this is where it's going to give you, um, you're going to go through this. So for example, for the sake of this series, I'm pretending that I am Hannah Clark, a luxury commercial real estate consultant from Miami Beach. So I'm going to go ahead and say, Hannah Clark, next, where do you serve customers? It's going to say, I have a physical address, and this is where I'm going to go ahead and type in um, my uh, my address or addresses. So this is where it's like, okay, where are you located? Um, you can add in more. I believe you can add in up to, I think it was up to five. I, I might be wrong. I thought it was like up to five. Let's just see. Miami Beach, South Miami Beach. Let's see. Okay, I think it is, okay, it's only five, I was correct. So you can add up to five locations, and if you don't have a local business, that's fine. You can just go ahead and select the I serve customers nationwide or worldwide. So if you're a blog, a consultant, e-commerce, something like that, that's the option that you would select. So then I'm gonna go ahead and say, now it's asking me which keywords do I want to use in your checklist? So again, this is where I would put luxury real estate agent, Oop. luxury real estate agent, Miami Beach, I cannot spell tonight y'all, oh my goodness, luxury real estate, Miami, Florida, commercial, Ooh. Real estate, luxury, no, commercial real estate, Miami, Florida. 
brokerage. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and do that. And we have three out of the three keywords and I'm going to click on next. Okay. So the first time that you go to your site, it's going to have you update those keywords. Now, if at any point, once you've already done this, you need to go back and edit them. This is where you would do that. So uh, after you do that for the first time, it's going to bring up this page from now on. And if you need to change the keywords, you'll go ahead and select the edit details. And this is where you can go in and change that. Okay. So you'll go to the marketing and SEO tab and underneath of the SEO setup checklist, it will say edit details. And so that's what you can click on. You can update your addresses, you can update your business or your site name, and you can now add up to five different keywords. So here's the deal. When you are first putting your keywords in, it's gonna be very important to pick the top five keywords that will be relevant to your audience and you want to pick them right the first time. The Wix does have a video here where it says learn, watch now to learn how to pick the right keywords. And that's a, it's a pretty good video. Um, again, we showed you here in the series how to, you know, find your competitors and how to, how to do all of that. So if you want to dive deeper into that, you absolutely can. There's also a keyword analyzer that you can use. Now, again, if I truly am Hannah Clark, and I am a luxury commercial real estate agent in Miami Beach, this is what I would type in. I would type in luxury real estate agent, Miami, Florida. I would type in um, top luxury real estate agency, Miami Beach, Florida. Um, now maybe I'm all, so this is really where I'm like defining my specific, my specific keywords for people who are going to be finding me. Um, now we did recommend that if you are, you use a combination maybe of short and long tail keywords, depending on who your target market is. And this is where you're going to add all of those. Now, once it's in here, once this information is in here, this is not something that you want to mess with. So like, let's say in 30 days or in 60 days, you're like, oh, I don't think that this is working yet. I'm going to go back in and change it. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's like a snowball. I want you to think of your SEO like a snowball. And Initially, you know, when you're maybe some of you aren't in snowy climates, I'm up here in northern Wisconsin, so I'm going to the snow analogy, which it's almost May and we still have it. So, huh. but anyway, so when you start to, you know, you're going to build a snowman or something and you start to build a snowball, it takes a long time for that to get going initially and it stays small for longer. But then down the road, that snowball is going to get bigger and gain some momentum. So that's the really like the same thing with the SEO on your website is the longer it sets, the better it gets. It's like a fine wine. Okay. So if you go in there and you mess with it, like I'm not saying that if you had really bad SEO to start with and now you're going through our series and you're like, oh shoot, I should have, you know, I should, um, I should have changed that or I should do this better. If you know that the SEO on your site is like, ooh, and you're watching some of our videos and you're like, ooh, that's crappy. It is more worth it to swap out poor SEO for better SEO. Um, but if you, you know what I mean? So that, that, that benefit outweighs the risk of it. Because when you go in and you change that, you start messing with the keywords and you start changing the whole thing that can harm your score and take longer for you to get seen. Because what SEO is, is it's going to be a foundation that you're going to continue to build on. So it's, it's really good to have a solid SEO foundation in from the beginning, and then you just don't touch it. You trust the process and you understand that on average, SEO is not something that's going to be a fast return. So we just want to set that expectation from the beginning. And I tell all my clients that I say, look, to really, really understand how your SEO is performing, give it six months to a year, <laughs> right? Like some of my sites, and it's been years and years and years that I'm personally still ranking, 
the number one in Google for in multiple categories, okay? It took years to get to that point, but I also didn't mess with it once it was up there. So that's something where sometimes if we are a little bit impatient or we're waiting for it to see if our strategy is going to work out, if we don't trust the process, it's easy to be like, oh, this isn't working. I should go in and change this and delete it and start all over. And those people that do that, hopefully you aren't one of them. But if you have in the past, just understand that every time you start, you're starting over each time. So it's taking you longer and longer and longer um, to really be able to analyze that. So we recommend start off with a strong SEO strategy. If you don't have one yet, start over, start fresh, start now, and then leave it. Be prepared to leave it for at least like six months. Six to 12 months is, is like the average time you'll be able to see that. And then after that, if something isn't working, by all means, maybe, you know, adjust your strategy, like analyze some of the keywords, see what's working, what's not working, and then go in and tweak it a little bit based off of that if something is absolutely not working. But just understand that SEO is one of those tactics that's more of the evergreen strategies, and it does take a little bit longer to get going. And it definitely is a more long-term lead generation strategy. So hopefully, Hopefully this kind of covers that. You have a good idea of, all right, so this is what it looks like. This is where I can update it in the future. And this is when I should or should not be updating my SEO. So if this was helpful, please go ahead, give the video a thumbs up if you are enjoying the series or if you have any questions, we would love to hear your feedback down below. So just let us know what your thoughts are. And if you are enjoying the series and you haven't yet already, make sure that you click on the subscribe and the bell. That's very important. Otherwise, you won't know when the next video drops here in the series or on the channel. So thanks so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and I will see you in the next video.